in economics is micro and macro. You know, micro is you lose your job. Macro, the whole world collapses. I see a global banking crash coming. And how dark is your viewpoint? Is what I want to know. Absolutely. You know, in my in my latest article, I, I talk about. 71 Nixon closed the gold window. The Chinese, in their official uh, daily uh, paper, which was obviously came from the government, said that this is the end. Already then, they said that this is the end of the financial system. What the America is now doing is the end of the financial system, right. the currency system. So yeah, I mean, they were much more clairvoyant than anybody else in the world. The decline of this era. Started in in seventy one, the, the way I see it, or the, the severe decline. Of course, you could say they started with the Fed being formed in nineteen thirteen, but 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 seventy one was really when it all started. You know, it is so simple, Robert, and that's why you and I don't understand why only half a percent of world financial assets are in gold, because it's so simple. Since seventy one, governments around the world have continuously destroyed、uh, the currency and the money. And by becoming more and more indebted, and of course that's just this era. We can go back thousands of years, or hundreds of years, and it's happening time and time again. All governments or central bankers, government ministers have to do is to read history, and they know it's going to happen again. And basically, now we've come to the point where all currencies are down 97 to 99 percent in real terms. In real terms, is gold, of course. So we have the final. One to three percent fall to come, and but you have to remember that's not one to three percent fall. That's one. That's hundred percent from now, and that's what I see happening from now on. And、uh, you know, I take the example sometimes of, of exponential moves. If you fill a pool or or a stadium, let's say with water, one drop at a time, you do one drop every minute, and then you double to two, one minute, and then four, eight, etc. And then ask people, how long does it take to fill that stadium with water? It takes about 50 minutes. It takes. People would think it takes months. It takes 50 minutes. But the interesting point is, how full is the stadium after 45 minutes? It's seven percent full, and that is exactly what is happening now with the money printing and with the debt situation. And we've seen that in this century. We've seen debt has gone from 100. Trillion in this century to three hundred and thirty trillion in the world, or global debt plus all unfunded liabilities plus all derivatives, etc. Which could derivatives could be quadrillions. Derivatives are quadrillions. Quadrillions, yes, yes, quadrillions, absolutely. That's nice. It could be, you know, two, three quadrillion. We don't know. One and a half to what is reported by the BIS, by the Bank of International Settlement. It's not the full picture,、um, so we don't. Nobody knows what is outside the the, the real banking system. But nevertheless, so whilst debt has trebled in this century, risk has gone up exponentially,、um, and I now see that this final move that I tried to、uh, to explain by by filling a stadium, I think is now the exponential move is going to start at some point, and we have everything in place for that. You know, we ha- we have the U.S. I mean, I see the U.S. is bankrupt, but they've just been lucky that that the world has.、Um, Accepted the dollar as a reserve currency, and they've been skillful in in making you know, and, and creating the the petrodollar, etc. But that's coming to an end now. No, nobody outside the Fed will be interested in in financing the extravagances of of of,、uh, of the, the U.S. government, and and in the end, of course, that is of course that is the. Ben- U.S. is already a banana republic. You know the, the debt to GDP is is now at 130%. The the, the uh, and and it was just not long ago it was 30, 40, or 50%.、Uh, so you know it, we are in the exponential st-、uh, stage now of of this collapse、uh, of of the U.S. And on top of that, they obviously shot them shot themselves in the foot also by. By、um, freezing、uh, the reserves of Russia, for example, and not only does that, you know, it hasn't really hurt Russia badly, but what it does is to hurt the world because no one is now allowed to trade uh, 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 freely uh, because of, of restricting Russia. And all of Europe has said, you know, follow the U.S., which I, I hate that Europe can't stand on their own without following the U.S. dictates、um, or dictates,、uh, and, and therefore. Now, the whole world is actually suffering because of of, the, of this move, and the what 
if you compare, take the, the Roman Empire, you know, Rome, Rome dominated major parts of, of Europe, uh, uh, Asia, uh, North Africa, etc. But there was always free trade, always free trade. And, and now we don't have free trade anymore. And that's what's going to hurt the, uh, the world the most, you know, restricting trade, restricting, uh, you know, and then making commodity prices a lot higher. Um, so, so we have all the makings now of, of the real problems in the world. So Europe is suffering. Now, there's still too much mo uh, money around. So you still, uh, uh, people who are well off are still well off, restaurants are full. But ordinary people in Europe uh, and in the U.S. cannot make ends meet. Right. Well, well neither can the U.S. government. <laughs> That's the problem. You know, I mean, the yeah. American people are as poor as the U.S. government because our debt is so high, we can't pay it back. No. So, you know, Egon uses the me metaphor of a, you know, a, a sports stadium and how long does it take to fill up? Well, we're in the last five minutes. It's going to fill and break. And also, uh, Andy Sheckman uses logarithmic dec decay. Or who said it that uh, how how when how you go broke? Slowly at first, then suddenly. Never in the history of the world has the world been here. That the whole world is linked, and they've been chewing on these U.S. treasuries instead of gold. They've been buying this instead of this. What do you think is going to happen, Egon? And what I mean, you you've been in the banking industry. You've seen the corporate, international corporate operates. When that baby fills up or it goes snap, what's it going to look like? What does, what, what is, what does catastrophe look like? Well, it, it's, you know, I'm an optimist as an individual uh, and, uh, you know, my, I, I, I love life. I, I uh, you know, enjoy people and, and what I'm doing. But when I see the world and I see the risks, uh, I, I'm a, sadly a real pessimist. You know, we don't know what's going to happen exactly. But, you know, I'm worried about the risk and the risk is at an unprecedented level worldwide. We have never had a debt situation in every major continent in the world before, whether it's the US, the Europe, yeah, Japan, of course, China, etc., and, and emerging countries. And, and what I see, sadly, is that we are not going to go into this exponential phase now, which will be defaults, you know, ba banks will go under, People will not. Nobody can afford to repay uh, debts. Not uh, not individuals. Um, everybody's too indebted. A lot of companies can't either. You know the lending that's taking place, and then we, you know, we can take. You asked about Switzerland before uh, we started, but we can. You know, every bank in the world has lent too much, and uh, for example, against property portfolios. Uh, uh, so the leverage is enormous, uh, and I don't see any debt being repaid. So the only sh short-term solution. Uh, as uh, that uh, that banks have or central banks have is obviously printing more money they know nothing else there's nothing no one no one in the world who wants to be re-elected can cut down on, on expenses and therefore we'll just be more money and that way we have some hyperinflationary stage and then uh, thereafter okay forget about what they're going to try resets and they're going to try to put the debt aside and say that doesn't count anymore, etc. But that's nonsense. You can't make debt disappear because if you make debt disappear, all the assets that are, ba uh, that are backing this debt will disappear also. 